Hello, Galloway friends. It's Pastor Susanna. It's Sunday morning, time for Sunday school. I'm glad to be back with you again. This is week three of four. We have this week and then we have next Sunday to finish our prayer series. And I have been having a good time and I hope you have too. And so I wanna to start today by opening us in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for our house that we get to live and sleep in. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for our moms and our dads. Thank you for our friends and our school and our church. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for so many things. We love you. Amen. Did you notice anything about that prayer that I prayed? Everything I said was thank you, wasn't it? Everything I prayed to God in that prayer was about thanking God for something that God has given me and given you. Well, today we're going to talk about how we pray prayers of thanksgiving, thanksgiving prayers. Look at my sheet that I made, my craft. What does that word say? Thanksgiving. Yes, it's two words put together. It's thanks and giving, which means what? That we give thanks. Yes, that we give thanks to God for all the things that God gives to us because God loves us so much and takes care of us, right? And so today we're going to talk about that third type of prayer that we pray when we pray in our ACTS, Acts Prayer, right? So let's just recap a little bit before we write our prayer of thanksgiving. We have been learning in class that prayer is what? Talking to God? Yes, where we talk to God and then we listen to God in our prayer. Sometimes our prayers need to be quiet so we can listen for how God wants to answer us when we pray and sharing with God. So when we talk to God in our prayers and we listen to God in our prayers, we're sharing time with God and we're sharing with God the things that really matter, right? And so that's what prayer is, is talking to God, listening to God, and sharing with God. And we're learning in this prayer Sunday school that there is a really good way to pray that helps us cover all of our bases when we talk, share, and listen to God. And it's called A-C-T-S prayer, Acts prayer. Remember the first is adoration. And that's how we start our prayer by telling God how much we love God and how special God is to us. And then last week we learned about confession. Then we pray I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry I messed up. I'm sorry I did that thing I shouldn't have done, right? We confess. We tell God we're sorry for the things we do that we shouldn't, and we ask God to forgive us. And God does because God loves us, right? And then the next part of the prayer is prayers of thanksgiving, and that's what we're going to talk about today. And can I let you in on a little secret? Oops, that was my puppy dog. Sorry. Can I let you in on a little secret? This is my favorite part of praying to God because I love to tell God how much I appreciate all the things God gives me and how God takes care of me and my family. And so it's really easy for me to pray prayers of thanksgiving. Sometimes it's harder to pray prayers of confession because we feel bad about what we do and oh, we know we have to pray them, but it doesn't feel as good, does it? Well, prayers of thanksgiving feel really good because we get to tell God thank you for so many things. And so I want to talk a little bit about this before we write our own prayer of thanksgiving today. There are verses in the Bible that give thanksgiving prayers to God, right? Just like the other weeks we've been looking at scriptures that show us how people in the Bible pray to God and prayers, uh, scriptures about prayers. Well, today we're going to look at two. And so I want to invite you again to the Psalms. Remember, the Psalms are in the middle of your Bible. And so you can just open right in the middle, and it should take you right to the Psalms. 
And remember last week I told you that the Psalms, that book in the Bible is all prayers. It's all kinds of prayers. It's prayers of thanksgiving, it's prayers of confession, it's prayers of adoration, and it's prayers of supplication, which we're gonna talk about next week, which is praying for other people and what they need. And so the Psalms are full of showing us examples of how to pray well using the Acts prayer, okay? So I want you to turn in your Bible to Psalm 104. No, sorry, 105, right here. You can write this on your sheet too if you're making a Thanksgiving page for your Bible journal, for your Bible, your book of prayer, then you can write Psalm 105 verse 1, okay? And I want you to listen to how this psalm starts and tell me if you think it sounds like a prayer of thanksgiving. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on God's name. Make known his deeds, which means the things he does, among all the people. Sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of his wonderful works. Give thanks to God. Yeah, right? I hear the word thanks in there. This writer in the Psalms is praying a prayer of thanksgiving. And it goes on. If you read the whole psalm, it's really long. So we're not going to read it today. It's got 45 verses in it. And it goes on and on and talks about all the things God has done for this writer and giving thanks to God in prayer. Okay? So that's one example. Go back a couple of pages to Psalm 100. Psalm 100. It's a short psalm. It's one we know pretty well. It's one that most people can recognize. Sometimes we say it in church. And it is called a Psalm of Thanksgiving. That's the title. So in your Bible, if you're looking at it, it may actually have the words, a Psalm of Thanksgiving underneath Psalm 100, right? So listen to this, listen to this, particularly listen when I read verse four. Okay, I'm gonna start at the beginning. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. That kind of sounds like prayers of adoration, doesn't it? Talking about how God is good, make a joyful noise to the Lord. That kind of sounds like prayers of adoration, right? Know that the Lord is God. That is definitely adoration. He made us and we are his. So that's talking about the mightiness of God, the wonder and the glory of God, right? We learned about that in prayers of adoration. But listen to verse four. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. There's our word. And enter his courts with praise. Give thanks to God and bless his name. So this psalm is a psalm of thanksgiving, and it is telling us how we can be thankful and how we can tell God that we are thankful. Oh, there are so many things to be thankful for, don't you think? Can you think of a few? You want to share some with me? Just shout them out. What are you thankful for? Yay! I'm thankful for you. Did you know that? I'm so happy that I get to have these Sunday school lessons with you and that I'm at Galloway now and can be your pastor. And I'm so happy about that. And I'm so thankful that God has brought us together. I'm thankful for my family, for my children, for my puppy dogs. I'm thankful for my house. I'm thankful that God keeps us safe in the midst of storms. I'm thankful that um, God loves us. There's so many things that we can be thankful for. And really, if we sat down and wrote them all down, we could never run out, could we, of things to be thankful for. And it's really important that every single day we remember to pray and say, thank you, God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the food you gave my family. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for loving me. Whatever it is you're thankful for, let's don't miss 
those blessings and the wonderful things that God does for us in our life. And let's don't forget to say thank you. So today, we're going to fill in on our prayer sheet. Remember, we're keeping, we're keeping our prayer book. Mine's on one big poster board, but yours may be in a booklet form. And that's okay, however you want to do it. But today, we are going to write our prayer under the T, Thanksgiving, right? So I want you to put on this part. I want you to do it this way. I want you to say, Dear God, that's what I'm going to write. Dear God, and then I want you to write, Thank you for everything you want to put on there. I'm going to give you just a few minutes to write God a prayer and tell God what you're thankful for. And I'm going to do the same thing. Okay? Dear God, thank you for write your prayer. Like I said, we could write forever and ever and ever because there are so many things that we can be thankful for because of how God loves us and blesses us so much and the things God gives us. So I'm going to read my prayer to you, okay? And mine says, Dear God, yes, I need more than two hands. Dear God, thank you for loving me, for my family, for your grace that forgives me of my sins. Thank you for food and sunshine and rain and my puppies. Did you put some of those same things on yours? I bet you did. I bet you did. That's how you pray a prayer of thanksgiving. And you know what? You can do it anywhere, anytime. When you wake up in the morning, you can say, God, thank you for waking me up. When you get home from school, you can say, God, thank you for being with me at school and getting me through another day. When you eat dinner and you sit at the table and hold hands with your family and you pray for your food, what are you doing? Praying Thanksgiving prayer, a blessing for your meal. Thank you, God, for this food. And when you go to bed at night, you can thank God for watching over you while you sleep, right? So these are prayers of Thanksgiving. And so what I want you to do Today, before you go to bed tonight, I want you to think of all the things that you're thankful for. And every time you think of one, if it's not on your prayer booklet, go back and write it in. But even if it is, remember to say out loud, thank you, God, when you remember one of God's blessings. Because even just saying, thank you, God, that is a prayer. Let's pray. God, we thank you for Sunday school, and we thank you for these children and their families. We thank you for loving us, and we thank you for our church that teaches us how to pray. Help us, Lord, never to forget to look for all your blessings and to thank you for the things you give us. And to that we say, amen, amen. It's good to be with you. And I will see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.